There we go. Well, that was the, our network fucking up again and just ceasing to exist. Ugh. Oh dear. Also, um, screen share, please. Yeah, give me a second. Uh, I'll give you a few. Hide that because this will pop up over there instead. Uh, uh, yeah, that's the second time now that early on in a stream, for some reason, the network just decides to go fuck you, uh, disconnect everything, and my computer just refusing to reconnect even though the network has been restored already. Sometimes it takes a bit of time for it to kick in. I had moments where our network fails a moment, so we need to restart the router. And sometimes the first thing that actually works may be the cell phone and my PC. Sometimes it's my PlayStation that works first before the PC. Yeah, sorry, is, it might just be me, but your audio sounds different now, like just talking oh. in a box. So you may want what? to reconnect. Really? Uh, okay. And I think I just accidentally messed up. Yes. This one too. Three, four. Right. Sounding bit. Really, what the fuck happened there? I heard us. That that was clear, but how did one? None of them were near the button. How did they set off an alarm? Oh dear. Right. Uh, I sound better than the priest. Yeah. Oh, that's good. That's good. It was a simple case of just doing that. Uh, could have just been my annoyance. But yeah, at the very least, we caught it. So let's start the timer again. Fresh this time. Fresh is. Yep. And that okay. still looks like an insult to me. Uh, just added another S or put the M <laughs> next to the S after flipping it over 180. Do ass. Uh, for me, for me, it's like AS is cadaver in Swedish. Okay. And DU is you. So it's kind of cruelly saying you cadaver in Swedish. And yeah, Goodman killed one of the guards. Oh dear. Mm -hmm. Still, how does that? How does that help? Oh. Okay, he went for that real fast. Uh, real fast indeed. My guess is whilst yeah, I saw a little, a little opening there. So I'm guessing whilst Goodman is distracting the guards, we're supposed to. Uh, we are supposed to open the window and well, flip the switch. Also, it, it looks to me that whenever we, <clears throat> whenever we select our own equipment, it gives us a lot less ammo. Anyways, let's wait a moment for Goodman to deal with that one, and then we'll just deal with him ourselves. Oh no, I think I just realized. I think it's supposed to be a hidden yoke with that company name. There we go. I think it's supposed to be dumb ass, just they removed one S to make it less obvious for the yoke. <laughs> that definitely works. Oop. Okay. Now we're in. Quick saving. I'm guessing some some 60s uh, <laughs> movie actress. I, I know that there are supposed to be some references to uh, to old spy media in this game, but that one just flew right over my head. Yeah, that, I think I actually heard the name Diana Riggs before, but not killing that one. I think I only heard it as a 
a few you to mention a bypass saying, but that's it. I only thought it was a random celebrity. I never gonna remember who, who it was. Too late. Okay, so the moment there are moves, the button is basically pressed. And yeah, he, he saw me just before we are going to shoot him. Yeah, basically shoot them before they hit the button. Fucker can run. Okay, I'll take that. I'll take that. And we're done a quick save here. I think we can easily say that uh, the status report is FUBAR. Well, they are... Okay he... okay, he probably heard because we were too close, even with the silencer. So that's the animation when being shot in the behind. It's... It looks a bit weird. You get shot in the behind, you you jolt backwards. <laughs> See nothing hidden here. Can't lift ourselves up. Yeah, definitely. That thing is <laughs> that thing is fucked. Oh, camera. Good thing we got the guy before he got in range of it. Oh dear. I feel like the Bond of the Gods uh, were a bit of a follow the reporters uh, to the letter a bit too much. Yeah. You can have that with people, and hello. I can just. Oh. Little bits that don't really need uh, to be done in a game. Yeah. Do it does help with the immersion. I heard someone yawn. Sorry. Just eight. Okay. Uh, quick save. We've done well so far. Let's try and keep it that way. I'm surprised that the guy didn't see us. Yeah. Uh Oh, nice mate. Uh, what happened to the first part of the stream? Uh, I'll, I'll probably just throw that out entirely. Okay. Uh, actually, no. I, I'll, I'll, I'll just stitch that to the second half here. And yeah, I, since I had to restart the game and the computer, I might, we, we might as well have. Yeah, I, yeah. I thought might as well restart the game as well. And hello. All right. Uh, your photo of uh, said we spoke about the voice actors and all. Yeah. <laughs> well, now we say we have an extended stream again. Let's see. Photograph three ledgers. Don't set off alarms. Find security office and disable alarm system. Okay, that is always good. So why is that thing just turning to look at the wall? Good question. Uh, just poor design, or rather, Dumas design. Dumbass design. Uh. Okay, gotta keep an eye on that camera. Uh, I remember I remember an Easter egg here, so let's put this thing away for the moment. Easter put down a quick egg. save. And uh, go for a bit of a ride.
Of course you do this. Oh. What the? Wait, wait, what? We. <laughs> uh, oh, wait, we're at the are other we side. <laughs> wait, oh. Where, where are we just now? Uh, back in England. I suppose. All right. <laughs> yeah, and. I hope you can understand why I'm asking. <laughs> yeah, uh, let's. Uh... That, that, that looks like a very Easter egg slash hidden level style of thing to do. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we're probably going to get hurt if we drop down there. So let's see. Oh dear. Can we? Oh, well, I almost forgot. Uh, that says hello to you, by the way. Uh, you, you can tell him hi when we, yeah, you know, after the stream. He, yeah, you can tell him hi back after the stream for me. Uh, but tell him next time he calls me, he doesn't live with, with us. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, let's see. Just find some random body remover. Really, Kate. <laughs> Let's say really, Helion. <laughs> Sounds. Uh, oh, let's see. Who is the master of knock knock jokes <laughs> and knock knock door pranks? This looks iffy. Okay, just open this up for the way back. Come on, Kate. There we go. Uh. Just doing a quick save in case these are electrified. Which they don't seem to be. Mm. Who's there? Nope. Johnny West! <laughs> oh, oh, wait. I... I failed. I was going to say Johnny Quest, not <laughs> West. <laughs> Go uh, next in to Bobby hmm? East. He just confused we... me more. <laughs> <laughs> then we have Billy North and uh, what else is a common name? Uh, Smith South. Actually. Uh, oh, come on. He was at the oh, bloody well, thing. Well, well. It was a South is rather on Rare last name. I have never heard a character with the last name is simply being in South. And there are people probably. Uh, yeah, I think there are. I th yeah, I think it is a reasonably common last name in America, for at least. And there's uh, something I thought about a bit ago. There is a non-zero chance that there is someone in Salt Lake uh, City named Salt Lake. Oh, poor rascal. Now, let's see. Stun gas. Quick save here. Hello, boys. Good night, boys. And good night, me. I was just to say, you, you should probably wait. <laughs> uh, you know what, him? <laughs> I think you should put that uh, uniform on. Yeah, because I'm the dumbass now. Yep. No. It would have been at least somewhat in impressive if I managed to kill them both whilst blinded, but no. Let's see. SWM, good job. Influential, still young, hip, slightly overweight, balding, needs an incentive. If you're between the age of 18 and 24 and enjoy great music, give me a call. Blonde's preferred. Okay. Uh, I have to say, I must took that picture first for Putin. <laughs> okay. Wait, was he even in power back then when this game was released? I think he only came to power in the 70s or something. Maybe 80s. 
I meant when the game released, not when the game is set. Uh, well, he's been in power for a few decades, so probably. And he called himself president? Possibly, or at least he was attempting to try and look like he was in power, and luckily nobody heard that. Yeah. So it's probably a good idea to uh, not talk too much about that guy. Because in the yeah. current state. Uh, uh, let's see here. Are we going to have to pull that trick again where we get on top of something moving and get moved around? Yeah. Oh, that's the broken... Wait, that... Is that the broken thing? How did we loop back to that? I'm sure oh, right, the... yeah. Hmm. Okay, how... Do we need we... to catch something? I think we have to get over here. Not by shooting it. Uh, maybe uh, not. Look out. There's no grapple points. Hmm. But you might be able to ride something for that. True, but it would be going this way instead. Oh. So for now, let's retreat again. Retreat? Oh, okay. Just to have a look around. Make sure we haven't missed anything. Let's see. Uh, yeah, that does loop around back to that part there. Hmm. Let's see. Is there something on the other side of the tracks? Hmm. Ah, there we go. This is probably what leads us forward. Don't have the How's coin. Uh, wait, what? We don't have coins to distract with, it seems. Oh, uh, that's kind of surprising. She, she ran out of quarters. <laughs> Looks like it. Okay. Mm, he's coming running. Oh, let's hope he's out of sight. Uh, nope. Did he just face plant the button? I think the camera might have seen him, which means that we quickly... There we go. Okay, that means we've gotten ourselves stuck into a bit of a loop. Because he's going to spot him before we can get rid of the body. So let's try and be quick. And is he... No, he's not in sight of anyone. Never mind. Hmm. I see what's gonna happen. I think I know what I need. Be right back. Nope. Hmm. Okay, where is the last save? Let's see. 1706. And this one is... 1705. 1715. No, 1112. Yeah, yeah. Hmm. I went to get some chocolate. I forgot to buy my chocolate today. <laughs> so we just grab the thicker ones. Okay, let's do a quick look here. Controls, weapon hotkeys. Nope. Let's see, there should be con quick buttons for... Let's see. For some of the gadgets. Let's see. A crosshair toggle. Okay, I think we might have hit that a few times by accident. Hmm. Yeah, looks like we might have to do things over. 
Yeah, but not too far back, right? The start of this scene. Did we get it in a golden spot? Let's wait for the cameras to swerve back. Yep, we got him. We got him right between. <laughs> we got it right in a blind point now. I didn't know about that camera. So we don't have to redo things. So let's just nice. put in a quick save here to override that. And just to be double safe, make a new one there. Okay. Yeah, that saves us a bunch of redoing. Let's see, encrypted file. Hmm. There's probably a code breaker. That's one way of dealing with uh, mother-in-laws. Yeah, no, is that an actual thing? But I feel like I only hear this wool trope most from games and way more commonly in series. Well, there are... <laughs> the mother-in-law from hell is uh, both a throw, but it is also an actual thing. But it mostly depends on the family and such. Oh, he's coming this way. Oh, crap. Yeah. They really spot but fast. But sometimes, thanks to, especially thanks to series, it seems way, almost extremely way over common. Now, it's not that common, at least. Yeah, but you do get what I mean, that they overused the trope in, the, in TV series. Oh, 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 come on. That's... Really? For what? I've been able to shoot through fences before, but not in this specific case. Okay. Oh, come on. Let's get but, them yeah, started. It... Do you agree with me, though? That people have been overusing the trope way too much? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, there's literally nothing this way. I guess your wife would probably be upset if you threw her in front of a train. Yes, I thought about it, but I think it would just create a lot of tension. Even if she couldn't prove it was me, she'd always wonder, you know. So, Actually, are they in range for this? Yep. Nope, it blocks that as well. That's That's Actually... Nope. <laughs> it, it takes half a second for it to take effect. I hate that thing that the sound it does. Okay. Well, we know we can't shoot through this specific fence for some reason. We're not shoot through it well enough. Go. I'm not hearing any cameras in here. It's the one outside. Don't jinx it now, otherwise you have those damn camera head things from uh, Metroid Red. <laughs> I hear... I hear footsteps. Uh, I I think we could uh, we could stream a few Metroid games uh, in time. Uh, see if I can get the Metroid Prime trilogy to work with the Wii U. 
It's be, it, it is annoyingly choosy with when it's yeah, yeah when it wants to work on the Wii. So how well it will work on the on the Wii U, we'll have to see. Though we did get it to work for that test stream. Also, hi, bye. Yeah. Just in case. I think if the camera would... Yeah, the camera would have gone off if it was in range, but still better to be sure than not. Yeah. Wait. When did they remake, uh, remake them or re-release them into Switch? I think there were, might have been a talk of it or rumors of it at the very least. But I've not heard of that after. There we go. Now we yeah, need to if, get deeper. Yeah, but we, I think we can agree. If they do re-release it to Switch, yeah, especially if they can, especially if they can keep the, uh, the the Wii versions motion controls as an option. Yeah, for it will make uh, streaming it so much easier. Yeah. Okay. No surprise guests moving in after us. Can't fall through that for a shortcut. Okay. Ooh. Okay, normally I wouldn't be this tired at this time. And for one, it is not entirely due to work this time. But because I had to go through the bloody rain to get home this time. So, safety safe. You basically have the... The same issue I have uh, whenever I shower on midday or afternoon. Yeah. You get sleepy from it. Hello, what have we here? Hello, Magnus. Sergeant Magnus Armstrong. Well, well. <laughs> it was Armstrong, all right. I'm sure of it. Excellent Smash work, cut. Roger. What do you want us to do now? Try to interview the Baron at his estate. We need to know if he's involved. You think it might be someone within the organization? I'm hoping that you and Goodman can answer that question. Aye, sir. We'll do our best. Let's go. Trying to look inconspicuous, Goodman. Uh. Heads. Damn it! Ah, oh, don't pout. Your eyes get all small and piggy when you're sulking. How are you planning on getting in there anyway? I'll charm my way in. Well, I hope you brought some secret charm powder or something, otherwise you're in big trouble. I've got better weapons in mind. Like what? You've been staring at them all afternoon. Huh? <sighs> Good I was man. worried. I was worried for that. I was worried for that. So, yoink. Uh... Contains a stuffed kinkajou. It appears to have been shot in the back of the neck at close range by a small caliber rifle. What? Get your hands stuck in there. That could be some reference or something. Okay. Now, we're going to have a bit of a dialogue thing here again. So, let's see if we can... Let's see if I can figure out which ones we actually need to do. Yes. Good afternoon. My name is Mia Hegg. I'm from Men of Influence magazine. Men of Influence? What on earth are you doing here? This is the residence of Baron Archibald Dumas, is it not? Yes. Baron de Moss certainly seems to qualify as a man of influence, wouldn't you say? I suppose it would depend on how you choose to define influence. He is the president of Dumas Industrial Enterprises. Ah. He's wealthy. True. He's well respected. Hmm. He's dashing. <coughs> He's debonair. 
<laughs> Listen, this is all very educational, but what exactly do you want? Uh, let's see. <laughs> Hoping to profile. Hoping to interview about the future of the Maui industrial enterprises. Our readers love stories about sw uh, savvy businessmen conquering corporate challenges in their modern age. Uh, ta -ta -ta. Let's try this one. I was hoping to profile Baron de Maw for our perfect live series. Each month we cover a different person whose lifestyle and disposition exemplify perfect living. And you wish to include his lordship in this series? Yes, the idea is to penetrate the myth and get to know the man, his pastimes, his ambitions, his accomplishments, the things that make him tick. I see. He's a model aristocrat. Ah. Someone our readers can look up to. Of course. Will you excuse me for a moment, Miss Haig? I don't think I could forgive myself if I were to let this sublime opportunity pass by. I will discuss your request with his lordship and return presently with his answer. Thank you. Please wait here. I shan't be a moment. Yeah, if, if you if you pick the wrong points there, he will just send you off and you will fail the mission. And hello there. Uh, I can't actually make out your... Well, oh, sir. His lordship <laughs> has agreed to see you. Excellent. This should be amusing. What do you mean? Nothing. Follow me, please. Uh, hello there, Atreus, if I remember it correctly. Splendid. Show her in. I'll leave you to your interview, darling. I'll be shopping for the rest of the afternoon. Yes, yes. Have a marvelous time, Chipmunk. Don't call me that. As you wish, my love. Pip pip. He's rather larger than I expected. Ah, yes. He's a big bundle of charisma and intelligence. If you're lucky, perhaps he'll regale you with his rousing safari adventures. Good day, Baron de Maul. Goodness, had I known you would be so sumptuous, I might have preened. Care for a drink? No, thank you. It's a little early for me. Well, I'll indulge for us both in that case. I hope you'll pardon me for saying so, but you're a ravishing girl. Simply ravishing. That's very kind of you. I'm sure your wife feels absolutely spoiled by your abundant charm. <laughs> oh, she's a lucky old crow, I'll grant you that. Now then, Giles tells me you want to profile me for this magazine of yours. Yeah, Men of Influence, was it? Yes, each issue we cover a different person in our Perfect Live series. Someone whose lifestyle and achievements serve as inspiration for our readers. Jolly good. You've come to the right place. That will be all, Giles. Actually, sir, I thought it might be worthwhile for me to stay. In case the young lady should desire... anything at all. Splendid idea. Pip pip. Yes, sir. I'll be right over here if you require anything, Miss Haig. Thank you. Baron Dumont, do you mind if I record our interview? I'd rather devote my attention to you than to my notepad. And who could blame you? Record away, my dear. Uh, so then, where shall we begin? And yeah, it continues here. If we pick the wrong things too often, <laughs> we just game over. And uh, yeah. Oh dear. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Atreus. Uh, yeah, this game is a bit obscure, but when people speak of it, they generally speak of it very kindly, for good reasons. This is a, this is a very good game. Oh yeah, and hello, Atreus. Who's a good boy? Uh, let's see. What's it like being precision big hang hunter? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. <clears throat> Uh, I, th it's, I think it should be pretty sure that uh, Dumas does not know a thing about running companies, so I think we should probably avoid that topic for a moment because it'll probably annoy him, since well he, he inherited the company and it kept running, well, despite his presence, <laughs> more than because of. Oh dear. What's it like being such a prestigious big game hunter? 
Well, it's difficult to explain to someone who's never experienced the thrill of the hunt, you see. When it's you and your trusty blunderbuss all alone against a ferocious beast, you discover exactly what sort of stuff you're made of. Sounds ghastly. Oh, it takes a special breed of male, I'll grant you that. The merest hesitation could cost you a leg. You have plenty of leg to spare. Helian! <laughs> Oh, that's not even me, even mean for you. Uh, let's see. Many men with such immense wealth succumb to sloth and immoderate narration. How do you keep yourself productive and effective? Mm, let's try that one. Many men with such immense wealth succumb to sloth or immoderation. How do you keep yourself productive and effectual in the face of such constant temptation? <laughs> <clears throat> Excuse me. Ah, an ingenious question. Uh, well, you see, a man has certain choices he can make. Some choices are wise ones, and some are not. So I suppose you could say that making wise choices is an important step in one's tireless quest for uh, wisdom. Was that a good one? Uh, I, I'm not entirely sure, but I'll, I'll say this. Uh, Dumas is a dumbass. I'm sure our loyal readers would love to know what hunting rifle such a magnificent sportsman favors on safari. Ah, yes, indeed. Well, it depends to some degree on the beast I'm tracking. For a tiger, I tend to favor the legendary Matterhorn Model 4 Special Issue. Isn't that a 22 caliber target rifle? Uh... Seems a bit feeble for a tiger. Y yes, but I savor a challenge. How intrepid. You must be quite a marksman to take down a tiger with a single round from a 22. Well, sometimes it takes a few more than that. Still, even three rounds is impressive. It's usually more like 17 or 18. <laughs> really? You might find a larger caliber to be more humane. Yes, but then you have to deal with all that nasty recoil. I see. Um, wouldn't he have... Oh, blood, now I'm the mean one. I was to say, wouldn't he have enough mass to handle recoil? Uh, I I recently got reminded again of a clip of someone uh, <clears throat> a bit hefty firing a pistol like it's a freaking SMG. Uh, but I'll just leave it at there. Uh, uh, we, uh, we have seen that one. It is a me it is a bit of a meme. Uh, hmm. Which one of these do you say to go for? Most dangerous animal or? favorite painters well he seems to be way more hunter wouldn't it hmm. he seemed to have a lot of animal painting uh, actually yeah they have a way more animal paintings than animal trophies yeah so for uh, understandable reasons when he says that he needs Probably more than two clips to down a tiger. <laughs> yeah. Oh, wait. I saw boards of animals with target circles on. The question is... Have you even really shot any animal to begin with? What's the most so... dangerous animal you ever faced? I once squared off against a silverback gorilla. A silverback gorilla? Yes, a huge, ferocious, man-eating beast. Man-eating? Quite so. But I was under the impression that gorillas were herbivores and very gentle and less threatened. Well, that's true of some gorillas, but this was you know, one of the dreaded man-eating gorillas of Pakistan. I wasn't aware there were gorillas in Pakistan. Well, that's because few lived to tell of them, you see. Well, it's fortunate that you did. 
Agreed. Silverbacks are by far the most dangerous animals to hunt. I was under the impression that that distinction went to Cape Buffalo. Nonsense. Cape Buffalo are just glorified cows. Hmm. Yeah, sorry, I have to pick, say something here. I have recently got a South African friend a month back, and yeah, he, he can very much confirm that Cape Buffaloes are no joke. And let's see, I, I just doing, I did a quick search. Deus Ex came out in 2000. This game came out in 2002. According to Wikipedia, Deus Ex runs on Unreal Engine 1. And let me double check for No One Lives Forever. Right, Deus Ex Machina is that old? Not the, the Machina isn't added to it, but Deus Ex, yeah, it is, <laughs> it is 23 years old now. Uh, I did not this. know that. I, I, I thought it was that thing only came out 10 years ago. <laughs> uh, no, not at all. Let's just say anything about the engine here. Engine List Tech 2.2. Okay, can't say I've heard of that. Oh, and just because I glanced the name here, the composer was Guy Whitmore. We did see that in the credits at the start. But I'll, I'll, I'll definitely need to remind myself this time to actually look up what other work he's done. Uh, though I think it was said that he worked on Assassin's Creed after this. Or at, at one point. Let's see. If you were stranded on a desert island, what piece of music would you most want to have with you? Is there anything that can strike fear into the heart of such a stalwart hunter as yourself? Which one would you say? Keep with the hunter questions or... Oh, Atria says the, the reboot. No, it's not really a reboot. It's more the pre a prequel. Came out around 10 years ago. So you might be thinking of that one. The original Deus Ex came out in 2000. Deus okay. Ex... Uh, that, I forget. that might be it then. <laughs> Deus Ex Human Revolution came out about 10 years ago. And that, that one okay. is a, pos a, a good possibility for streaming. Oh dear. Anyways, okay, let's see these. Oh, I, I guess the hunter one. Is there anything that can strike fear into the heart of such a stalwart hunter as yourself? Frankly, no. Really? Nothing at all? Not that I can think of. Not even centipedes? Oh, dreadful things. Uh, yes, I suppose, perhaps centipedes. Personally, I'm terrified of rats. God, yes. Those beady, evil little eyes and sharp little vermin teeth. Horrible animals, especially in a mob. And spiders. Oh, don't even mention them. How did you become so courageous? Oh, just something one's born with, I suppose. <laughs> uh, Kate must be choking herself almost mid trying not to laugh. So... Price we're not being kicked out yet. Yeah, we're stroking his ego, so yeah, we're <laughs> we're denying Giles or whatever his name was his uh, fun, <laughs> but I guess he must be chuckling in the back of his glove <laughs> all the ways, all the same. Bleh. Let's see. I understand that yours is Ted Ferris, Epis. Episcolo lineage, how does that your unwavering faith influence your day to day life? That sounds like a bad question because he probably would go, the fuck is that? <laughs> so let's go with this one. I imagine you've traveled to many exotic locales across the globe in your many daring adventures. Is there any place you favor above all others for hunting? Ah, uh, most certainly. Let me guess, Kenya. Oh goodness, no, I don't speak a word of Chinese. But Kenya's in Africa. Oh, I thought you were referring to the one in China. All right, then. How about Bengal? Cold weather doesn't agree with me. Rhodesia? Heavens. Madagascar? Not on your life. Where, then? Well, to be perfectly honest, I'm quite fond of Bristol. Partridge? Pandas. Giant pandas. 
Bristol, England? Yes, indeed. I wasn't aware of any giant pandas in Bristol. Well, they're imported. I see. He has got on many people hate list, including yeah. mine. I had him into my files on a great book of grudges. And yeah, you can guess how he gets whatever little trophies he does have. Speaking of... Was that a gazelle trophy in the foyer? Ah, yes. Beautiful creature, isn't it? I'm sure it was lovely when it was alive. Aren't they quite fast? Indeed. You must be quite a marksman. True, although I was rather close in this particular instance. How close? Five yards, I should think. I'm impressed. Stalking a gazelle within five yards? I didn't really stalk it, per se. How did you get that close? Well, it was in a pen, you see. Pardon? Some years ago, it occurred to me that all that traipsing about in the wilderness is a dreadful waste of time. I concluded that since what I really want is a handsome trophy to hang on my wall, why not simply put the beast in a pen out of the yard and shoot it there? Save myself the bother of tracking it all over creation. Why not just buy trophies, then? Some men might be satisfied with that sort of compromise, but I only display animals I've collected myself. There's no honor in buying a trophy now, is there? How efficient. Well... It looks like it's only a bit only halfway. Uh, I don't Man's like it. Man's illusional. Is there a message you'd like to share with your many admirers? Good hunting, my humble devotees. Well, that's all the questions I prepared. I must confess, I'm positive this will be our most popular Perfect Lives installment yet. Oh, you think so? Absolutely. Rarely does nature combine so many excellent qualities in one man. Our readers will be fascinated, and maybe even a bit envious. One can hardly blame them. What I don't understand is where such a busy man finds the time to be a successful business tycoon, loving husband, daring hunter, astute philosopher, cultivated humorist, etc. <laughs> <laughs> she ran out of bullshit. Well, one learns to delegate. For example, although you wouldn't guess it, I'm only peripherally involved with Duma Enterprises these days. Strictly in an advisory capacity, you see, to keep the company on track. How ingenious. Oh, well, I have my moments. But isn't it an awful risk to hand over operations to someone less accomplished in the subtleties of enterprise than yourself? Actually, it's safer that way. Really? Yes, you see, in my experience, the less one knows about running a business, the less he can screw up. I make all the important decisions. The rest is just, you know, paperwork. Still, you wouldn't want your competitors getting their hands on that paperwork. Oh, quite true. But we have a very large safe in which to store it. Safes can be cracked. No, not this one. Even if someone could get inside, he'd still have to get past the security system. Sounds daunting. Oh, it is. There are invisible beams. Infrared? Exactly! If you touch one of them, the doors lock and poison gas is released into the safe. How terrible. Oh, I'd like to meet the burglar who could get in there. You it already did. A lunatic even <laughs> to attempt it. Or a fool. Thank you for your time, Baron de Maul. It's been an eye-opening experience. I'm happy to oblige. Uh, never turn your back on a worthy cause, I always say. A worthy meal is more like it. <laughs> yeah, it seems we did. We missed the security office somehow. Or... Actually, we probably were in there well, on with the bit with the ladder and just m completely missed the button to turn everything off. Yes, still, we got out. 
Oh, non-injury awards issued by Unity Medical Division. An undamaged operative certificate issued by Unity Body Armor Repair Shop. So, awards for taking no health or armor damage. Well okay, done, that is good. Archer. You may redeem yourself yet. In the meantime, don't get cocky. There's still work to be done. Command will fill you in on the details. Report there immediately. And I, I clicked that right as you were speaking up. Sorry about that. <laughs> See, I said uh, OD here. I think. Oh, I forgot. Well, it'll it. You saying oh dear gets you closer to any deer more than Dumas would be able to get in nature. Oh, true. True. I've probably even been close to the boar than him. <laughs> though, that, that boar was dead, it's though. He was putting on an act. I don't think so, sir. I'm fairly confident the man is an imbecile. I heard the tape and I gotta agree. Still, it's clear that Dumas Industrial Enterprises is somehow linked to harm. Well, didn't the Baron say that he wasn't really running the show anyway? Who's the vice president of the company? According to our research, his name is Damascus Valentine. D.V. What? His initials, Damascus Valentine, Dmitry Volkov. Coincidence? Seems rather tenuous. But nonetheless intriguing. In any case, we need to know what's in the safe the Baron mentioned to you. It won't be easy, naturally, mm. but it could be the key to this investigation. I'm looking forward to the challenge, sir. That's the spirit. Mr. Smith, what did intelligence find out about the building? It's a veritable fortress. Not only is there a suspiciously large and well-trained security staff, but they've also invested heavily in high-tech surveillance equipment, cameras, infrared alarm systems, the works. They must really have something to hide. Our thoughts exactly. So what's the plan? Who is going inside? You are. What? Why her? It's way too dangerous for a woman. Oh, don't start with that again. Before joining Unity, Agent Archer was something of an expert in, um, covert infiltration, one might say. Breaking and entering, others might say. Whatever the case, this assignment calls for stealth and subtlety. Yeah, yeah, I know. <laughs> subtlety isn't my specialty. I still think it's too dangerous for her to go in alone. Which is why you'll be providing a distraction for her downstairs. I like the sound of that. How do I get inside? Attempting entry on the ground floor would be suicide even for an expert like Ms. Archer. The only way in is through the roof access. What did you have in mind? Am I going to have to parachute in? Too imprecise. Fortunately, there's an alternative. Dumas Enterprises is erecting a second skyscraper right next to its corporate headquarters. Our surveillance photos suggest that if you can get to the top of the new building, you can use a crane to cross over to the roof of the old one. The surveillance photos suggest that this is possible? It will be close. You'll have a zip cord to cut the difference. I see. Once you're inside the building, you'll need to locate the president's office and find the safe. Photograph anything remotely suspicious. We don't want to tip our hand, so leave everything as you found it. The less they know about our mission, the better. Now then, time is of the essence. Yes, sir. Okay, heroic music for some reason. <laughs> Yeah, what the heck? And it dies out. <laughs> Thanks for that, Santa. You killed the music. It wasn't it wasn't TV that killed the mu radio star. It was Santa. Oh dear gods. Yep, that is how we're going to get around these things. And let's see. 
Okay, it's a bit too hazy to get a good read. Probably for purpose. Yeah. Okay, let's put this thing in. Watch it be four or five one. And if my memory is correct, that's the uh, Arcane Studios' favorite <laughs> key code. Just swap to infrared, and there we go. Does that actually work through stuff? Nope. Yeah, now we can see laser beams like that. Nice. Them again. I forgot about them. Oh, really? I'm bored. I never have any fun. Neither do I. Psychedelic groove? What? <laughs> also, Maybe? they hip shakes, but... Surely angels is a bit cheesy, but at least it makes sense, but... Hip shakes... Like, that, that, that feels like a way... I need to remember, this is a bit of a... Parody. Yeah, a loving parody, but still a parody. Yeah, but still. I feel like they can go down better than anything hip chicks. Yeah, they're called the elite guards. The, the, the hip chicks with big guns is just a tagline. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Oh, dear. Yeah, I did see the elite guard. I thought they were calling them the hip chicks elite guard or something. <laughs> While it's clear that Dumas Industrial Enterprises is somehow involved with harm, it's not entirely certain who the mastermind is. You must infiltrate the company's corporate headquarters building, locate the safe in the president's office, and photograph any relevant documents you find. Agent Goodman will provide a distraction that should draw attention away from you, but you should still expect resistance. Let's see. Infiltrate, locate office... Look at the safe and search for information on Shanker's whereabouts. And on arm, let's see, default equipment will be. Oh, new weapon, crossbow, proximity explosives. I, we haven't had a tutorial on these, but well, we've, we can guess just from the name. Uh oh. The SMG with. Mm. While it's clear while it's clear that Dumas Industrial Enterprise 